actually handy. Thanks for joining us, Gary. Hope you enjoyed the ride through the desert and the city. Oh, wow. I enjoyed it tremendously. That is futuristic. You know, it's a very odd feeling to totally give up the wheel to a robot. But you know what? It was great just the same. And what I really want to say is I so much appreciate that Mercedes is the very first company ever to actually design a concept car exclusively for CES. Thank you. Well, as I understand, CES is all about future trends. So that is our contribution. Well, yeah, and I certainly can't wait to see that vision realized on the road. But I have a question. I was wondering, the car still has a steering wheel. Yeah. So could I do the driving by myself? Uh, sure, Gary. When I was uh, here about three years ago at the CS, um, our theme was the Declaration of Independence. We have come along a long way since then, but still, the user of an autonomous Mercedes-Benz will always remain to be the decision maker. So that is true independence. I understand it, and I, that makes sense to me. Well, there will always be occasions where the driver just wants to drive, but there will be other occasions where he much better prefers to hand the steering wheel over to someone else, to the robot. So you're not afraid that Mercedes is just going to end up making subway trains? Well, Gary, I don't know what kind of subway trains you're using, but I believe there's a big difference. I mean, ever seen a subway train with 26-inch custom uh, wheels? This is much like the difference between, a, uh, let's say, a student dorm you share with uh, your roommates and an exclusive condo. Agreed. Well, thanks so much for the preview and bringing this phenomenal car to CES. Enjoy. Thank you very much for joining us. All the best. Take care.